when you're making fancy sandwiches like I'm doing today, it's really important to focus on flavour combination. So this is the perfect example of what I'm showing you today. I'm making a sumac chicken, mushroom and ricotta open sandwich. Really, really delicious. So to start with our chicken, I've got some really nice free range chicken here and I'm using just the breast only today. And just to give it a hit of flavour, what I've got here is some sumac and I really love this spice. It's got this tangy, almost lemony taste to it and it really goes well with chicken. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over both sides. You know, instead of just using just chicken by itself, if you think about what goes with it quite nice with some lemon and the mushrooms, your sandwich can be taken from this level all the way up here. So that's why I'm putting some sumac today. A good pinch of salt on each side. And I've got a pan on here, nice and hot. A good glug of olive oil. And all we do is fry it for a couple of minutes on each side until it's golden brown. So while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to swap pans over and we're going to cook our mushrooms. So I've got some medium-sized field mushrooms here. We're just going to roughly slice them. And, you know, chicken, mushrooms, best friends, they love each other. So why not place them on a really fancy sandwich like this? We'll just chop probably about two for one portion. I've also got some garlic here. I'll just crush that. Just give that a fine slice. One, two. And that's nicely heated now, so we're going to add some olive oil. And you want a really hot pan for this because we want to flash fry these mushrooms. I'm placing the mushrooms in first and we'll get some colour on them. Now I don't want to add the garlic now. This is a, a rule that I always tell people. If you add the garlic first, it's going to go all bitter and overcook. So it's really important to add it afterwards when they're about halfway through cooked. So we're just going to keep an eye on them. Might add a little bit more oil. When they're halfway through cooked, I'm also going to add a bit of butter. So the chicken's cooked and I'm allowing it to rest. We'll just finish off these mushrooms by giving it a squeeze of lemon to freshen it up and also some fresh parsley that I'll just roughly chop here. Another good toss. And all we have to do now is start assembling our sandwich. So I've got some really nice sourdough here that I've just toasted. And because it's open sandwich, I'll just use one for the base. And then we'll just slice this chicken on an angle. I'll just use just a little bit of it. Nice and thin. Like so. You don't want big chunks of chicken for this because it is a sandwich. We don't want to have it go all over the place. So we just want nice, thin medallions like so. And I'll just lift that and place that right on the base. And then we'll top it with these beautiful field mushrooms that are nicely cooked, just on top. And this is one of my favourite things. This is ricotta and I've baked it in the oven. Now you can get this from most delis, but if you can't, not a problem. All you do is get some fresh ricotta, place it in a ramekin like this and bake it in the oven for about half an hour until it's golden brown. And what I'll do, I'll just remove that from its mould. I mean, you can use standard ricotta for this, but when it's baked, it becomes nice and firm and I think it's just got a little bit more of a character to it. And of course, it looks really nice when you cut it into little slithers like this and place it on top like so. Gorgeous. All we need now is just a good glug of olive oil just over the top and that is a really simple sandwich. So when you're thinking about doing sandwiches and you're sick of that ham, cheese, tomato sandwich, give this a go. That sumac, you'll really taste in the chicken and it goes absolutely perfectly with the mushrooms and that baked ricotta.